What's up, my DoorDash gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. All right, guys, this is my dirty little secret number three. All right, guys, the key to my success with making all the money I made with DoorDash was starting at the same time every day. All right? I went back and looked at all the days, all the restaurants that I went to and all the money that I made, and I found out that 7.30 in the morning to 4 o'clock is where I made all my money. So every day I would get a schedule from 7.30 to 11 p.m. I didn't work all the way to 11 p.m. If I had to go to work at 9, I would work till 5 or 6 o'clock. You always can cut your app off. But you want to schedule, take the longest schedules possible. They don't need to know what time you're getting off. That way they can continue feeding you orders. So if you, when you do your schedule, guys, even if you're only going to work four hours, take the all-day um, schedule. And the reason being is, just say at 2 o'clock you got an appointment. So from 7.30 to 2 o'clock, you cut your app off at 1.30. As soon as you cut your app off, go to schedule, and the time that you have remaining is going to be there. Then you can jump on another schedule later after your appointment. So if I had a 2 o'clock appointment, I finished at 11.30, I mean 1.30, I would go to schedule, and the hours is not given out yet that I vacated. So I grab that schedule, I pick it back up, and then I schedule myself from like 3 o'clock to 11 p.m. if I'm off that day. That way, I can continue to dash and do what I need to do in between. So guys, if you want to make the money, try to start the same time every day. Treat it like a job. That, was, that, that helped me out big time. And two, always pick the longest schedule as possible. So if you got a 10.30 to 9 o'clock, you take that, that schedule. Even though you're not going to work all the way to 9, like I said, they don't need to know what time you're getting off. The key is, is get as many um, orders as possible in that little bit of time that you're working. Alright guys, I hope you understand the video that I put out earlier. I just want y'all to know that um, uh, why I got deactivated. Like I said guys, if you look at my video, The Truth Hurt, the customer always going to win guys, no matter what you do. I'm a prime example of that. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I will be coming back with more tips for DoorDash. Also, I'm going to be coming with um, tips for Grubhub once I figure them out. I'm going to do a ride along on my first day because I want to show you all my process, how I record everything, why I record everything, and how I get that information. Even though Grubhub is a different um, app, they basically run the same way. So... The tips that I'm going to give you for Grubhub, you also can use from DoorDash. All right, guys. I hope you understand these tips. I hope you use them, guys. There's no reason why anybody should get deactivated like I did. If you listen to the tips, please make sure you go back and watch March and February. I mean March and um, April videos. If you're behind and you need to catch up, you can go to my playlist and get those videos. All right, guys. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out. Y'all have a great day. Talk to you later. Peace.